and Mills kicks to Parsons. There's the dish to Mozgov. Goes up the baseline. And Charlotte again with the bucket. Boy, they are as hot as can be from mid-range. They're getting run off that three-point line, but they're taking advantage and knocking down those middle-range shots. Steve, they've banged home eight of their last ten points on pull-up jumpers. Bryant drives in, and that one's good. And that's ten straight points in the paint. I mean, defensively, the wind has just been knocked out of their sails. Need to get more bodies committed down low. And Mills kicks to Anderson. Bryant comes with the double team. Moscow dishes to Parsons. Four on the clock. And he dunks it down. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yeah, you got that right. Bean passes to Deck. It's Kobe Bryant on the wing. Covered by Parsons. And the shot no good, a bit short. Ouch, another miss to add to what's been a miserable game for him from the field. And Mills kicks to Diaw. Parsons on the wing. The shot will not go. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Hill sets the screen for Kobe. Shot from the top of the key. Boy, it's been a rough day for him, Kevin. I mean, he's not the only reason they're down right now, but he's certainly one of them. And Mills kicks to Anderson. Now the feed to Parsons. There's a screen off the screen, and it's sent back by Hill. Garnett, the screen. Levine passes to Kobe, drills it from outside. Bryant's got it back down to single digits for the Lakers. Yeah, he didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first, but the defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. Diaw, the screen. Kevin Garnett with the steal. Here's Levine. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Major League big boy throwdown right there. And he keeps a tight grip on that rim after the finish. And maybe that'll give this team a little bit of their edge back. Charlotte calls timeout. Luol Dang is the definition of a game. He averaged over 38 minutes a game over the last five seasons with the Bulls. Play with a fractured thumb, torn ligaments in his wrist. He always goes all out at both ends every time he's on the court. And some changes here for the Hornets. Andre Blotch, he's checked in for Mozgov. Kid Gilchrist comes in for Chandler Parsons. And it's Kimba Walker in for Patty Mills. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke who's across the way on the sideline. Well, Kevin, Steve Clifford was just going over the game plan with his team. He was absolutely adamant saying, don't let them off the hook. Let's keep our foot on the pedal and keep doing the things that have gotten us here this far. We're almost home. Levine kicks to Garnett. Henderson pulls it in. Henderson's got five rebounds tonight. And when you talk about the physical toll for Deng playing those long minutes, tremendous discipline and dedication to keep his body ready to go. You know, his hard work and leadership has to be missed by the Bulls on and off the court. And it's Walker penetrating. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Henderson's got five points now this quarter. And the Lakers call time here. And Verdang back in the 2013 playoffs. He tried to practice through complications from a spinal tap. You don't hear that very often. That was a life-threatening condition. And Kevin, he was unhappy with his care during that incident. And 
said nobody from the Bulls checked up on him at the hospital, so I think that cast a real cloud over their ensuing contract negotiation. Here's Levine. He kicks it to Bryant. And he nails that one right through the net. Well, they found the touch here in the second half from the field. And everything else we talk about, folks, rebounding, defense, all of that, this game is still about making shots. You got to put the ball in the basket. That's the bottom line. And they found a way to do it here in the second half. Here's Walker following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Five to shoot. Here's Blotch. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Well, after being amnestied by the Washington Wizards, Andre Blotch resurrected his career with the Brooklyn Nets. Overlooked most improved player candidate two seasons ago. I thought Blatch really solidified his gains last year. And for Blotch, the key to his turnaround, really committing to playing in the paint. And that's good to see, Kevin. In the past, he'd float around and settle for long twos, but by staying inside, he's improved his rebounding and his efficiency. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. Well, Jordan Hill has battled injuries, but when he's played Clark, he's been pretty effective. You know, Kevin, last season, around 20 minutes per game, he played with the Lakers, and you could argue he should have been playing more. He was very productive in that time on the floor. He's more a banger than a spread for. He's not a great perimeter shooter. And so the fit with their spread out system might have limited his playing time. And it's Walker penetrating. Left side, Kid Gilchrist. D out. And it's sent back by Garnett. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Lakers trailed by seven. And he'll try to develop his outside shot to better fit into the Lakers' offense last year, but that's not his strength. Where he's best is his ability to use his size and athleticism on the boards. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. What a huge play. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. Garnett dishes to Bryant. Second shot opportunity. Take a look at what Kobe's done. Nine points, and from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. Yeah, and you'd expect by the end of this game, I I'm sure the numbers are going to look even better. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Hornets. Well, I got to say, one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've got. And then how about the scoring they've gotten down on the post, really dominating that lane area. Moskov, he's checked in for Charlotte. Puts up the baby hook. And Charlotte again with the bucket. And the Lakers call time here. Even though Charlotte was able to climb back into relevancy in the East last year, they still had trouble dealing with those strong teams out West. And Charlotte isn't alone when it comes to East teams having trouble with the Western Conference. Yeah, they were 13 and 17 last year against the West. And, you know, the former Bobcats, current Hornets. But, you know, if they can get that number to around 500 this year, they'll have a great chance to move up in the Eastern picture. Harrison, he's checked in for Charlotte. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Young's checked in. Hill is green on Walker. Here's Levine, and there's the rejection. And they'll keep possession. Up top, Kobe, covered by Hairston. And he gets it to go. 
12 points for Kobe Bryant. He is pouring it on in the second half, guys. I mean, a much better showing than he had before the break. Walker the pass to Diaw. Knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. Walker against Kobe. Just four to shoot. Ring shot on the way. Walker's shot is off. Well, that's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. Boy, he had a good look at that one. You hate to miss that shot. Nice follow through on the fadeaway. Diaz got six points in the quarter. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effectively. Yeah, and until they do, the problems inside are only going to get worse. Kobe gets to Dang. And the shot is good. The Hornet lead has been cut down now to just eight on the basket from Levine. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. There's the screen. Here's Diaw. Kid Gilchrist trying to free himself up. Diaw can't hit. Bryant with it. He's picked up by Walker. Kobe kicks to Dang. Plenty of space. That's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. And that's now six points for Luol Dang. Ryan again, Tirsten. In the corner, it's Kid Gilchrist. And Hill with the block. The Lakers shooting well here in the fourth quarter, 50%. Kobe dishes to Young. Young, right side. Dang gets a wide open look. And it's Dang again missing. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Take a look at what Kimba Walker's done. Ten points and a huge helping of assists as well. Now he's a maestro, Clark. I mean, the conductor of this offense putting on a fantastic performance. Gets the first. That makes it a seven-point lead. And some changes here for the Hornets. Parsons comes in for Michael Kidd-Gilchrist. And it's Henderson for Hairston. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. And it's Bryant in the corner. Los Angeles with another miss. Parsons passes to Walker. So it's Charlotte picking up the win. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. That about does it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long, and thanks for watching. Now, here is our Jordan player of the game.